Welcome back to Teach Me Money Methods. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how you could actually leave your day job, your nine to five, and start making $100 a day. Um, that would be to the tune of about $3,000 per month. And on average, <clears throat> Most people uh, make between two and three thousand dollars a month. If I had to calculate, so this would get you on track. Um, if that's uh, depending on your lifestyle, uh, where you're at, if you have a family and so forth, you probably won't be able to quit your day job with just a hundred dollars a day. But a hundred dollars a day is really even for your side hustle or you know making money online is a great mark because that's three thousand dollars extra cash that you're going to have in your pocket. Let's say you're making three thousand um, dollars in your uh, day job. Now you're doubling that, right? Now your side hustle that you're working on just an hour a day is all it takes. You could be making an, ex, an additional $3,000 per month. What would that do for you if you actually made an extra $3,000 per month on top of your already uh, day job, right? And eventually, if you can turn this into whatever your goal is, whatever your minimum is to be able to pay for the your, your mortgage um, or, you know, pay rent, um, to be able to buy food and to be able to pay your utilities. Those are your essential needs in order to live. And whatever your mark is, that might be $2,000 a month. It might be 3000 It might be $5,000 a month. But right now, uh, most people getting started with this, they want to make at least their first $100 online. So I'm going to show you an example of something that I just worked on the last couple of days and how I was able to turn that into $100 a day. I'm going to show you how to do affiliate marketing. There's several different ways you can do it, but I'm going to show you one of my uh, specific um, strategies and uh, campaigns that I created and what it kind of looks like to be a full time YouTuber and affiliate marketer. Um, so we're going to dive right into that. But before we do that, um, check out this uh, comment from Matt Jones. Appreciate you, man, uh, commenting uh, the other day on my channel. Um, you said uh, you've been following along with these and one idea you had was like a building in public type series. Now, I know I have over 10,000 subscribers, but this channel is really kind of fluctuating on views. Sometimes I get like 800 views and a lot of times I'm only getting a couple hundred views. The channel kind of really did die because I've, I've changed the channel too, uh, too many times, kind of like talking about Amazon KDP. Now I'm talking about affiliate marketing and so forth. So part of that's on me and that's my fault, um, but I definitely am trying to recover the channel and uh, stick to specifically only like affiliate marketing and YouTube related because that's how I make all my money anyways. And so that's uh, this last couple of months, you can see that I've just uh, put up a lot of content and a lot of laser targeted, laser focused content um, to teach you guys how to use YouTube um, and how to do affiliate marketing, right? And I'm sharing along the way, like this one, I made $1,900 in one day and I share with you like what I did, what that looked like, what platform I used in order to do that and so forth, right? So I'm sharing everything, uh, sharing my knowledge for free on this channel. Um, if you like that sort of thing, hit that like button. But what Matt says is, um, hey, create a similar building in public series like Indexy channel. I had to look it up and it's this guy, um, um, forgot what his name is actually, sorry. Um, but um, he is essentially sharing what he does. I mean, this guy makes way more money than I do. Um, this guy makes hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. Um, he's really big into SEO and so forth. But I think what Matt's saying is that like for YouTube and affiliate marketing, I should just share what I'm working on. If you guys are interested in a building in public series from me, where I just say, hey, building in public day one, like and what I'm working on, right? Like I just got done recording my um, video for my um, my other YouTube channel, right? And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to record about four videos for four different YouTube channels. And then I've got to do all the editing and the publishing and the YouTube thumbnails and so forth. So um, I have different ways that I make money uh, and do affiliate marketing for depending on what channel it is, right? I might sell a course on one channel. I might do sell an affiliate product on another. But if you guys want to see kind of like day in the life of like, what do I work on in my business, a building in public type series, then um, just leave a drop a comment below building in public. And if enough people kind of um, say building in public with a comment below, then um, and if I get a lot of likes on this video, then that will tell me that that is what you guys want. And I will go ahead and start um, maybe considering just literally pushing record um, like this guy does um, on the Indexy channel. Um, I think it's like, um, Jackie Chow or Jackie Cho, um, however you want to pronounce his name, but, but Jackie, um, I believe that's his name. Um, he's the one doing that. Um, I have more subscribers than him. I probably have more success on YouTube and make more money on YouTube. He makes most of his money with websites and SEO, but I think he's going to build a really strong audience because he's uh, putting out this series. 
Um, and it would really be just kind of record uh, of me just re pushing record and sharing, hey, here's what I'm working on today. Um, here's how this one's going and so forth. So let me know if that's what you guys want on this channel. And I will try, uh, see about putting together a, a building a public series. All right, so I'm going to go and just uh, quickly show you the strategy today. How can you quickly start making $100 online? There's a lot of ways you can do this. Now, you can take one product that you really, really like, of course, and you can go and build an audience around that. Uh, go and do research on the keywords that you can get visitors for, and then you can go and just build your YouTube channel around that, and that would be successful and fine, and I, I think you can easily get to $100 a day with that strategy as well. Um, but what I'm gonna show you what I did over the weekend was that I just went over here and I go to this site called Munchai. It's basically a JV uh, joint venture announcement list um, for a calendar, and it tells you what product, uh, what platform they're selling it on, Warrior Plus or JVZoo. Those are 90% of the time, it's either on JVZoo or Warrior Plus. Um, and you can see the vendor's name and what the product is and what commission rate they're paying for the product. Now, I've already gone over that I do, uh, I, I like to only go um, for vendors that have good products, a good sales history. They have an audience already, so you have a good chance that the software is going to get enough um interest when they launch that you'll be able to get gain some traffic from that and gain some sales. Uh, you, if you pick a flop, right, if you pick a product from someone that is brand new, they don't have an audience, no one else is promoting it. So then therefore, no one's going to YouTube and looking up for a review on it, um, then you're not going to make any sales, right? You're only going to make sales from pushing it to your own audience. And if you're making less than $100 a day with this, you probably don't have a, really a, a big audience, right? So so I like to go through here and find uh, what product uh, or vendor. I have some vendors. I have a list of vendors that, uh, you know, I just won't, I won't uh, promote their products and so forth. I really do try to promote only good products from good vendors. Um, and that requires them to have a, at least a 3.0 or higher um, rating on Warrior Plus. That way customers rated them and they didn't think that their, their software or product was crap. Um, and so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna promote it, even though they make thousands of sales each time. I'm just not going to promote it because you have to also live with yourself and the products that you are promoting and feel good about it, right? And so that's just something that I've uh, made a conscious decision uh, a while back that I'm just not going to intentionally promote crappy vendors or crappy products. And I don't recommend you do that either. So, but we come down here and we'll look at one that was uh, launched just a couple days ago. It was called Quantum AI. It sells for $17 and I get a 50% commission on that. So I'll go and click at, a, click at it and then I go and check um, check it out. It does have a prize. Uh, I'm not quite um, on the leaderboard for this one, um, but we can go over here and you can get more information. This did launch a couple days ago about the launch and so forth. Um, you can go and check out the sales page. You can go get your affiliate link and so forth. I'll click on that as well. And you can go and like I said, I always go over here. I like to see if they do have nice, um, you know, the um, badges, you know, they're a top affiliate, they're a top vendor and all these different things. I'll also uh, come and see like when it first launched, um, if it already has a good conversion rate, has it already made sales? That's always a good sign as well. Um, because it's proven that other people are already making sales with it, then why can't I make sales as well? And then I go and look at their products. They have good ratings on their products. He's made over 165,000 sales. This, is, this guy knows what he's doing. And he also has a 3.5 rating. I'm okay with that as long as it has a three or higher, like I said. Um, it, typically when it goes below three, it's just really crappy uh, products, right? Um, and so when you do all that, right, then you come over here and uh, let me show you uh, what this looks like over here. Um, I started promoting this right over here on um, December uh, December 8th. I started promoting this. I got 12 sales, 155 bucks. The next day I got 11 sales. Um, you can see that these are good conversion rates, like conversion rates, like 10% conversion rates, $132 there, and then $77 yesterday uh, while watching football and so forth, right? And then we've already got hops over here. I'm sure I'll make a couple more sales before it closes out. And this is just the one product. If I come over here to affiliate and I show you uh, stats over the last seven days, our quantum AI stats are that I made over $300. I had a 12% conversion rate. I made 28 sales and 232 hops, okay? So um, that's how I would go about this, is finding a product, and like I said, once you go over to Munch Eye, 
You can go and see what's launched today. You can go and find out what product launched today. And then you go and start researching. You want to research what product, um, you know, has a good vendor, um, has good ratings, three or higher, um, has proven sales, um, pre preferably tens of thousands of sales is great. Um, and then you also can look at their past products, like um, how many do they sell? 500, 1,000. They've already sold 500 of Quantum. I was a part of this. Um, that was the last thing I wanted to show you was we come over here and we look at this thing called a leaderboard and I click on that and you can see um, I've dropped to number six right here. We've had some other people that have jumped in. They have um, probably bigger lists in this market and so forth, but you can see this is not bad considering look how many people, 34 other people have prom successfully promoted this product and made a sale. A lot of people teach you ClickBank and that's a gravity level. They do pulse score um, with this kind of thing. It's more of a pulse score. We can go and look at the pulse score of uh, Quantum by going affiliate and then going to offers. And we can go and look at the Quantum offer and see what the pulse score is. Um, it's a 41. So it is very high on the pulse. Anything over 10 is worth looking at. Um, anything, uh, you know, 30 or higher is doing pretty well. They have a low refund rate. I wouldn't go after anything that has a higher, like maybe six or 7% uh, refund rate. I wouldn't go after that as well. It's got a strong conversion considering that uh, they've probably had thousands and thousands of visitors. So this is a solid product, right? And it got a featured, it was a featured product and so forth. So some really, really cool stuff that you can do um, if you just follow this, right? And then um, I was um, number four for two days and then these guys just um, kind of overtook me uh, by a sale or two right here. But I already know I'm not going to be able to tap in most likely. I'm also not doing everything that I can in order to promote this product. I think I, if I really, really tried hard, I would probably break the top three. You guys have seen it before. I definitely can get number one if it's the right product and so forth. Uh, Jeremy Kennedy uh, is just crushing it the last couple of launches for this guy. Um, I also find that when you have a vendor that you really, um, your audience resonates with and you're successful on it, when you promote that same vendor, their next product, you really can replicate your success pretty quickly. You can see that this product has brought in over $10,000 in revenue and 500 plus sales. Um, this is the total revenue. So that means that half of this is going to go out and paid to the, um, you know, to the affiliates, right? So they've made $5,000 really. You just take that and you divide it by half and that's um, what, and then, and then you have to account that they are also going to give out this um reward um, for the affiliate contest of 700 bucks. So then you subtract that. So they've made about 4,250 bucks um, from this launch right over here. But super, super cool. Uh, I'm on the leaderboard. I'm in the top 10. Really cool. Now, um, this is what you do in order to start making $100 a day. You can do this. It's what's called launch jacking, guys. And all these other people that have only made a couple sales, it doesn't tell us how many sales, but with this little tiny mark right here, you can imagine they've probably only made a couple sales. And then people that have made multiple sales probably have this mark over here a little bit more. But, but as you create content and offer value to your audience and so forth and pick good products and then you can you know maybe go after another product the next day and then continue to replicate the process uh, the process um you start getting sales for multiple products right and then you come back over here and you start looking at i'm just going to go over here to stats and if we just look at like the last 30 days um, you'll start doing more sales right here, like multiple product sales. YT Influencer, this came out like nine uh, months ago, 10, maybe a year ago, and I'm still making sales on that product. Activity Book Generator, I can't believe I made another sale on that, and I'm getting hops, 13 hops, 8% uh, conversion rate, and this came out years ago from Amber. This is uh, in the low content space. This has been out for probably four years and still making sales. She still has members coming in, paying monthly. It's a great software and I still make sales um, and I haven't put any content out. It, you can get a you know residual evergreen sales uh, from this instant puzzle book uh, generator. I made a $22 sale this month from that. Thumbnail automations, I've made a couple sales from that. AI wise, my from Chris. So Chris Derenberger's products, I definitely do really well with. Um, and I've made all these um, from this as well. AI affiliates, we have made $128 and that came out, you know, more than half a year ago. And then the last, um, I'd say last uh, month, 
um, I have launched two of, uh, or promoted two of James Ranoff's products and they've proven to do really well for me. Um, this one, uh, Omni, I promoted on another channel that's obviously not going to be able to bring as much traffic, but as you can see, it was laser targeted with one email sent out to my list, or I think it was two emails sent out to my list. I still made the same amount. I made almost $300 and I had a 42% conversion rate on that one because I only had 62 hops, but I still made 26 sales. So. Um, theoretically, if I focused on just selling Warrior Plus and JVZoo products, then I will be making at least $100 a day minimum from my efforts. And that's what I would recommend. Like if you're just starting out, you can start doing things like this, but there's all kinds of different ways. If you don't like Warrior Plus and getting into this kind of, because this is only make money online niche, right? A lot of people, I mean, it's, you're making money online, even with like activity book generator and uh, instant puzzle generator, but that's more like Amazon KDP, Etsy, stuff like that. So it is a little bit of a side hustle niche. Um, that is still make money online, but it's, um, you know, it's, it's a different way of making money, my money online. It's not really like a marketing technique. It's more of a build some digital assets and then sell them on a platform. Right. Um, so you could use this, but you can also apply this to any other, um, you know, uh, affiliate marketplace, like going to impact or um, commission junction or anything like that. You can even go in Amazon products and, and do Amazon product reviews on a YouTube channel and then put your Amazon link in, your description and sell products that way. So there's no end to the possibility of what you can do to start making hundred dollars a day and finally leave your day job. But this is just a campaign I wanted to share with you guys that this is actually real. This actually works. I don't have a large audience. I only have about 1800 people on my um, subscriber list. I haven't focused on email marketing. I'm going to be doing um, uh, a lot more email marketing and maybe even some solo ads and so forth. Of course, I'll share all of my results and so forth and techniques with you on this channel. So make sure to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be, I just share everything. All my stats are right here. You guys can see all of them and so forth. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, on um, how you could possibly leave your day job making $100 a day. Um, and this is a guide to affiliate marketing. This is uh, this is not based on theory. Most people putting out this uh, all this information telling you how to do affiliate marketing, they're not go, uh, logging into their accounts and showing you that they make hundreds of dollars for just sending a couple emails and uh, promoting a product, right? They're not teaching you how to pick out the right products and so forth. So, um, you know, I hope that you at least appreciate what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help motivate you so that you can actually go out there and start crushing it yourself. If you want to get more information on how you can do this, uh, click the first link below and I'll see you in the next video.